solid bars, listen to me carefully, traders, solid bars, right, have a relatively high follow through rate. So the more solid a bar, the more powerful and solid a bar is, the greater the odds that the movement in the direction of that bar continues. So for instance, see how solid this bar is? The odds of follow through to the downside after that bar is very high. All right. Um, it may not be right away, but there's a high likelihood that there's further movement in the direction of your solid bar. Okay, solid bar here, maybe not right away, but there's high odds that there's more movement in the direction of that bar. Okay, now that's very important to understand and know because when solid bars stop having follow through, that should be noteworthy. And that's where my two color rule comes in, comes into play. If two, if you, for instance, if you are in a short, all right, you are in a short, let's say you take, you're in this short, um, and you're expecting this to drop further. Okay. Now you get a solid red bar here, but the solid red bar fails to follow through. Now that bar should follow through. It has a very high follow through rate, but when it fails to follow through, that is very noteworthy. And it tells you that something is wrong. Now, here's the thing. If a, if the solid red bar fails to follow through and, and not all, that's not it. And it gets taken out. The high of the bar gets taken out. That's a very, very bad sign. It's a sign that your short is off. It's not working. All right. If this happens twice, that's the two color rule. That's like, I've got not just one failure of a solid bar. I've got two failures of a solid bar. A lot of traders just kill the trade. Even if their stop is not hit, they just kill the trade. It's bad enough if one solid bar fails to follow through, but if two solid bar fails to follow through, a lot of traders have and, and no questions asked. I just kill the trade. Now, earlier today, we were, weren't we, what, what were we talking about that sort of met this criteria? Some of you were with me this morning. Was it C? Okay, it was C, All right? And this actually wound up working eventually, but I was discussing how there was a trader short the stock from here, which is a good short. I like it. I just, I like the short. Great short on the bear 180. Got short there. Stop there. Held on to the play. And then the play started going sideways like this. See? And I was telling the trader that I didn't really like it very much going here because it experienced a solid red bar, no follow through, a solid red bar, no follow through. And to me, that spelled trouble. And so the stock did attempt to go up here it eventually fell which is cool 
but usually the two failures to follow through on solid bars is trouble All right and it's not something i make mandatory but i teach traders to watch that and if that starts to happen to them over and over again if they start to get stopped out on plays that have the two failures red bar gets taken out red bar gets taken out if that if they start to lose on a lot of those then perhaps they should institute my two color rule or two solid bar failure rule that's another name right you can use for it all right and so your st the person st told me they had a stop here the trader said i got to stop here and i was like i would not want to lose all of that game so i would actually bring my stop down now on top of here and so the trader would lock in profits on either of those breaks. All right. Now it finally did drop. That's for sure. But oftentimes that's a sign of that's a sign that it's going to turn on you. Now, this can also have bullish. Um, it can also have bullish implications where if you get a scenario where the stock is dropped, and now it's doing that all right it's moved away from the drop this way okay and you get solid red bars that that don't follow through a solid red bar that doesn't follow through right Okay, and another solid red bar that doesn't follow through and then gets taken out. Boom. Solid bar one, failure to follow through. Solid bar two, failure to follow through. Take out the high of solid red bar. This is usually a key sign that you're move, you're going to move back to the upside so it's not always when you're short it also can be a great way to pinpoint when a stock is likely to turn all right is that clarified Two. this works in reverse as well so two solid bars no follow through and they get taken out you're usually going to go the other way